sons of bitches down! You think America can't find you? No need, General. We're coming to America. Contract says no weapons. Not on this kind of op. Who needs to know? General McGowan. But, this might make you feel better. Little souvenir I picked up in Indonesia. Thanks, Vic, but if I need a karambit for aerial recon, we've got bigger problems. Can't hurt. Hey, where's Charlie with that sat phone? Huh? Hey, sorry. Just putting the finishing bits of awesome on this puppy. Signal skips base combo completely. What for? Keeps the DOD types from backseat driving. That's why you're here, kid. Sam. Let's move. Uploading. We're in. Teams, this is King. We are go. Pawn says go. Bishop says go. Knight says go. Rook is go. Queen says go. Anything else, Chief? Let Sarah know I'll be offline for a few days. Sarah, she's still single, right? No, that's... I'm gonna take that as a no. Stop hacking base IT. We're guests here. Yeah, but they make it so easy. Video's up. Engaging two hostiles. I've got it. Site F encryption keys, 40 days until expiration. Hostiles are down. Let's go. Bishop's been hit. Jam everything and move out. The blacklist is live. Now. Anderson Tower, this is Paladin 02 requesting permission to lift off. Do you copy? Radio up. Radio's working fine. Anderson Tower, this is Paladin 02 requesting permission to lift off from Chopper Pad Alpha Niner. Well, we're behind. Fuck the protocol. Need to make it back in time from a Gowan's Texas Hold'em game? How do you think I'm paying for the chopper? <sighs> Leave him. Team report. Bravo is go. Move in. Zero two, we're going down. Hang on. We make the base just outside the perimeter. Take a light. We're a big target out here. Uh, uh, big, give me a hand, I'm stuck. Charlie Sackfeld. Yeah. Oh shit, you guys okay? What the fuck is happening? Chopper's down. We're fine. Munitions depot must have been hit. Where are you? Hiding under a truck with my laptop? Listen, guys, all the radio channels are down. It's gotta be an RF jammer. There's a signal. Northwest of you. All right, you sit tight. We'll find the jammer. Come on. Uh, I'll bet those sons of bitches are using one of our jammers. Uh, uh. 
And if you say that, that's what I do. Uh, eyes open, Sam. The guys behind us are pros. We're not even packing sidearms. Drainage ditch will give us some cover. Sounded like Katushis. He's right there! I'm on it! Everyone spread out and keep searching! Vic, don't move. Stop. company just back to corporal they're bringing him down now yeah just give me a second yeah hold on okay ready roll the camera it's rolling hey give him down How to disable that thing? I'm working on it. How's the kid? Don't ask. Charlie, we're in. All right, all right. All you need to do is disable the voltage oscillator and disrupt the competing signal. Just hold still. No talk, okay? Charlie, how about an on-off switch? Uh, do you see a blue button? Yeah. Hit it. What are you saying? What are you telling me, buddy? What are you telling me? Jeez. Jammer's offline, Vic. You can't stop the blacklist. Grenade! 
Word of a stunning attack on the massive U.S. military installation on the island of Guam. The deadliest strike on a U.S. base since Pearl Harbor. A group calling themselves the Engineers has claimed responsibility. Released an internet video complete with chilling footage from the attack to lay out their demands. They're calling the attacks the Blacklist. The Blacklist. The Blacklist. America. This is the Blacklist. The Blacklist. One new attack every seven days. We, we have one, one demand. demand. You have soldiers in 153 countries. Bring your troops home. Your troops home. Your troops home. Now. 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 Or every, every week, week, we, we will attack you. We will not negotiate. You will not stop the blacklist. blacklist. You have seven days until the next attack. The, the choice, choice is yours. We, we are, are the engineers. We are the engineers. What's our status? Paladin 1 and the 4th Echelon team are ready, Madam President, but we can't locate Mr. Fisher. His friend is fighting for his life. Find Victor Cost, you'll find Sam. Hundreds dead in Guam, a countdown to more attacks targeting America. The world is looking for answers, Mr. Fisher, and I don't have any. 4th Echelon needs to find them, and it can't do that without a leader. It's too strong, Vic. One of Vic's men comes with me, no questions asked. You can have Charlie Cole. And Grimm's daughter has recruited one of the CIA's best for mission support. Isaac Briggs. And Grimm is out. She didn't want you on this mission either. Sorry, Sam, that's a non-starter. Nobody works better with you than she does. Welcome to Fourth Echelon, Mr. Fisher. Pretty sweet, right? First time in a plane. No. And deeper are we with this engineer's organization? Nothing yet. Briggs and our contacts are isolating probable candidates. What about the names? American Freedom, American Blood. Potential attacks, each with a timer. Yeah, five days before American consumption. And counting. We're running analytics to find the target locations as we speak. I'll get you up to speed on the plane. Prototype military transport. Loaded with custom modifications. Armory, infirmary, holding cell. Every resource that you'd have on the ground. Fully mobile. It's like the good old days. Problem, Briggs? It's got my subdermal radio put in. Felt like someone used a jackhammer. This puppy makes Air Force One look like a paper airplane, hey, Sam? Do you want to discuss potential upgrades? Later. Walk me through this. News and internet data mining, predictive analytics, photo and video forensics. Plus backdoors into foreign ELIN systems and facial recognition integration from the CIA, NSA, DCS, FBI. All in real time. This is what you were bragging about? Yes, am I? Strategic mission interface. We've made significant improvements since the early system Charlie worked on. I'll let him get you up to speed. The best thing is, you can control everything from right here or from your opsat when you're on the ground. Impressive. Okay, well, let me know if you need anything. I'm gonna check out my new digs. Thanks, Charlie. What's the mood on the street? Extremist activity? Hey, Sam. Briggs, you settled in yet? I'm working on it. I usually get a lot more prep time before I'm wheels up on a mission. CIA is too big to move fast. Operation like this has got to be agile if it's going to work. Understood. Just wish I had a little more planning time. You'll adjust. Update on that op you're working on? High priority and getting higher all the time, sir. Listening stations in Kashmir hang a lot of chatter about a cross-border smuggling operation. What are they moving that we should worry about? Word is a nuke. 
We don't know the source, but if this is real... Then we gotta act on it. Yeah. The ring's based out of cargo, right on the Pakistani border. They own the local police. Then we won't ask the police for help. We'll go straight to the source. That's all for now. Looking forward to working with you, sir. Grim? Listen, Sam. We have a lot of work ahead of us. Thought maybe we should clear the air. History is history. That's it? Like you said, we've got a lot of work to do. Keep me posted. Something just came in from a contact in Benghazi. I'll follow up with you later. Grim? Sam. Talk to me about that side op that you're running. I've been tracking the engineer's online presence. 60% of their traffic passed through one choke point, a privately owned offshore data hub. Can we tap it virtually? They're too good for that. We need to do it the hard way and do it clean. What's the site? Just off the English coast, it's a converted sea fort. The guy who owns it is making millions hosting this kind of stuff. So we go in, plant a trace, get out. Without being spotted, or his people will wipe everything. Good work, Graham. Thanks. You confirm. Apollo's ready and transportation is available. Hi, sweetheart. It's me. Dad, hi. How are you? I saw the news in the Blacklist video and it's... I'm fine. I can't tell you where I am or what I'm doing. Of course you can't. But you're okay? And Uncle Vic's okay? Vic, it's part of why I called. Vic got hurt in Guam. Hurt bad. But he's gonna be all right. Tell me he's gonna be all right. Well, you know, he's tough. And they're gonna take good care. That's not an answer, Dad. Where is he? Walter Reed, I could be there in an hour. Look, you don't have to do anything. He's on a medvac plane to land still. Charlie's keeping tabs on him for me. As soon as he hears something, anything you let me know, okay? You hear me, Dad? Yeah, I will. Right now, I, uh, I gotta go. Of course you do. Just let me know you're alive once in a while, all right? <laughs> I will. I love you, Dad. Love you too, kiddo.
have a two-man team. Setup almost complete, Charlie. Yeah, hang on. Ow! <laughs> hey! Hey, Sam. We're uh, pretty much good to go here. Just gotta overclock a couple of components and then see if my supply wreck gets approved by Her Majesty. Let me know if you have any problems. Okay. Pretty tricked out workshop, huh? I'll be able to upgrade and repair most of our equipment, and if we've got enough cash and the right supplies, then I can test out some sick mods for your gear. Sounds like I'm in good hands. You know it. Hey, you need anything right now? Yeah. Might want to look into a helmet. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. 
What are you working on besides annoying Grim? <laughs> Anything I can find on our friends. I got my peeps skimming what they can. What could they find that the SMI can? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. One of my buddies is a Pakistani expat living in Yemen. He dead dropped something for me at the embassy there. Dead drop? So what, he doesn't trust electronic channels? Not with stuff this hot. Last I heard from him, people were coming after him. Tell me you trust this guy enough to send me in there? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Then let's go get it.